Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, another strange encounter at another dealership, this time a used dealership. Um, anyways, let's get into it. Uh, don't mind the hair. Just got back from a ride with uh, my daughter. Uh, eclipse today. Uh, gotta get out early so we don't get blinded. I don't know. Anyways, uh, recently my wife and I are thinking about upgrading to a new bike. Um, we've, I've always been into, I, I like the, uh, the street glide. Um, I'm a bat wing ferrying guy, as you can tell. Um, so I've always liked the, uh, the street glide. Um, however, we've decided against really looking at, um, uh, the new 2024 ones. Uh, there's a couple of reasons, um, could be a major one right there. Um, but anyways, uh, we've decided to start looking into used ones. We've got like three, like really good, uh, used dealerships in and around here. Well, I don't know how good they are. I've never bought from them, but they seem to be great guys when, uh, going to talk to them. Uh, two of them r really seem to do a lot of Harleys. Uh, the other one has Harleys, but they're more of a, a dealership for actually new motorcycles, but they have used ones there as well. Um, so it's not as, they may have the odd Harley, but it's uh, mostly metric bikes and, and those types of bikes that I'm not interested in and getting right now. So I go into the first dealership, um, guy asks like, what are you looking for? Like, uh, um, so we're like, uh, I'm kind of into street glide, looking at a street glide. And he's like, well, you know what you should really be doing is looking at an ultra limited. And I was like, really? And I mean, I know they both had the Batwing fairing, but now the ultra limited always just seemed like such a big bike to me. Uh, and I never, ever really considered it. So the guy asks me like, what do you like? Why do you want a new bike? And like, what are you riding now? And I'm like, well, I drive the soft tail, um, sport, sport glide. Um, and we're looking at doing longer trips, my wife and I, um, you know, four or five hour trips instead of just, you know, our one to two hour trips. And he's like, oh, you got to go with the ultra, uh, ultra limited because, you know, it's got better suspension. It's, it's, uh, a lot more comfortable of a ride. You know, you have all the storage you need already comes with the tour pack. Now that sounds all good to me. Uh, <laughs> however, I never really thought about it. Um, so we thank the guy and he's like, I don't want to crush your, your dreams. If you have your heart set on a street glide, go with the street glide. But, you know, cause I talked about, you know, we do want a tour pack and he's like, well, this already comes with it. It's a better value. Um, it's, you're going to spend a lot more money to get the tour pack and do up a street glide into an ultra limited than it would cost you to make a ultra limited look like a street glide. So that all makes sense to me. So having said that, we're like, thank you, do, 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 whatever. We go to the next dealership or the next used car or used bike dealership. And we go in there and same thing. I talked to the guy do, 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 do. and what he says is, Hey, best bang for your buck. You should go with an ultra limited. <laughs> so this guy, the same thing, um, ultra limited, it's going to be about the same price, uh, for the same year uh, for the ultra than it is for the street glide. And you're going to have to spend more money again to do up the, uh, street glide to look like the ultra opposed to getting the ultra to look like the, the street glide. So I was like, I, I didn't know what to do. So again, we thank the guy and we left and I keep looking at it and it's like, it is a better value for your, your money because you are getting more bike for what you are paying. But then really there's three main reasons I'm skeptical, not skeptical, but three main reasons why I wouldn't want an ultra limited over a street glide. And two of those things are of what, <laughs> actually all three of them are what the guys actually said. Um, what turned me off was he said, yeah, I know people call them the geezer glide. So I don't want to ride a, a geezer glide Two. 
he called it a road sofa, which actually turned my wife off. <laughs> she said, as soon as he said that, I don't want an ultra limited either. Um, and the third one actually is uh, the value. Yeah, they are the, it's a better value because of the bike, but it also means that the ultra limited doesn't seem to hold the value that a street glide does because a brand new ultra is more expensive than the street glide. However, a few years later, they're about the same price. Having said that, uh, most of the ultras seem to be people buy those ones to actually ride them. Street glides, it seems like they buy them to soup them up, do different things, and it sits there because most of the street glides they have, they're like 20,000 or less kilometers. The ultras are 50 plus kilometers at the same year. So that could be where the value is coming in is the fact that there's more kilometers actually on these bikes. Uh, the other thing that what I just thought of now that I don't like about the ultra is the fact that it has the lowers and depending on the year, you can't take the lowers off because there's fans and coolant or cooling system in those uh, lower fairings. So I don't know about that. However, thinking about it, you know, if I do happen to keep one bike it could only be for when we were actually doing our long traveling and another bike might be for the shorter trips around town um so i could have the best of both worlds but i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna ultimately do can you believe it i actually do put a little effort into these videos come to think of it if i didn't have to edit film or come up with ideas i'd probably do these all the time <laughs> anyways so the ultra limited it basically always it all comes down to to me it's a minivan a minivan good value does whatever you need it to be it's practical um so it's something i don't want um i don't want to be a responsible adult <laughs> Like I can do everything I need to do. Uh, you know, I can take the extra lights off. I can take the tour pack off. Depends on what year I, I can take the lower fairings off. Um, make it look really sick. Look like a street glide, a souped up street glide. Make it look awesome. Cruise anywhere I want. Stop anywhere I want. But the problem is, is when I stop and someone comes up and says, hey, that's a nice bike. What is it? I still have to tell them it's an ultra limited. But am I just being stupid? And no, the next time I'm called stupid won't be the last time. Should I just, you know, do the smart thing and get the ultra limited or do what my heart says and, you know, get a street glide. But anyways, let me know what you think. Until next time. Later. <laughs>